What's up? It's your boy Donovan and I'm back with another art vlog. I took a break from the art vlogs for a while so I could focus on school and everything else I had going on in my life, but I'm back because I have things that I'm trying to do. It's 2023. I'm trying to be serious about my art and I need to like completely either rebrand or tighten up my brand. I desperately want a new website. By the end of the year, I will have designed my own brand new website from scratch. Have I ever done this before? Absolutely not. But am I going to learn? We'll see. <laughs> Past couple of weeks, I've been redesigning my logo. That's the heart inside of the little like web globe. The old logo has a good feel, but I need a cleaner, crisper, vectorized logo. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. You're gonna see me using Adobe Illustrator in a bunch of cool, fun, different ways. I end up with a lot of versions to pick from. So maybe at the end, you all can tell me which one is your favorite. All right, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So I'm starting with the basic globe with the meridians. I'm designing my own just with the line tools from scratch. I already chose my brand colors, like I got the exact hex codes and everything picked out. I chose them on the um, Adobe Color Palettes website. So what I'm doing here is rounding out the corners. So I joined all of those lines together to make the globe all one shape. Then I'm going in and editing the corners to make them rounder and thicker so that they don't all have that blunt, sharp corner in every like intersection of those like those little globe sections. I end up making about four or five different versions of the globe because I wasn't sure which one would look best obviously and I just wanted to give myself like choices like options but that was like the basic concept that I did for each globe is I just edited those corners and those lines um, uniquely to each one getting the heart was pretty easy too I did end up having to split this one in half and just take the side that I like the right side and then mirror it and then rejoin it back together. It's like a quick and easy way to, like if you are editing your shape and it ends up being asymmetrical when you need it to be symmetrical, that is like an easy fix. Just breaking apart the globe was a very fun process for one, at least one or two versions of the logo. I really wanted to try to get a negative white space around the heart without having to use an outline. And so I did that by, you know, either erasing or just completely like breaking open the globe in the center, those lines, and reshaping them to, um, to conform around the heart. I ended up not sticking with my, my usual, I think that's like a seven point star, but it's supposed to be like a reflection or a shine on the corner of the heart. I did try it with a few different versions of the logo, but I ended up going with a four pointed little like sparkle type of star. So yeah, these are the five globes that I came up with. This is, these are the hearts that I was using and those are the stars. So what I just did in my grid down there was mix and match all of those elements that I created to see which one kind of felt the best. And I was willing to deviate from the original logo, and I did by changing that star, but I was willing to deviate even more. In the end, the one that I like the best, that is just the cleanest, is the closest to the original design. So I'm not gonna question that. I, I, I mean, I like them all, and I feel like I could use them all for different things, but the one that I choose in the end is probably like the right one. It just feels right in my heart. So next step is gonna be adding some color to this logo that I like. I played around with um, positive and negative space. I realized that maybe I was leaning too heavily on those lines. 
maybe I should try to just take them away completely, but uh, in the end, I really couldn't make that work. Although I did, I did try. It was really important to me to keep uh, like a wide variety of colors within the logo, not too many, but enough to represent a rainbow, just because like rainbow colors slash primary colors are um, heavily embedded in my brand. So I wanted it to be along those lines. In the original logo, the background behind the heart is not just a globe. The color is actually the CD emoji. <laughs> like the, the CD, like the DVD disc or whatever. I love emojis but I realize for copyright reasons, I can't make them too, uh, I can't use them too heavily in any of my like personal work. It's fun and it's cute on YouTube, but I can't like sell products with emojis on them because it's like copyright infringement on Apple. So that was part of the reason why I needed to redo the logo in the first place, just make it more original to me. And I think in the end, the color wheel that I add to the background with that nice strip of white in the center, it gives disco ball, it gives CD, it gives globe, like I see, I see all of those elements. So these are the eight logos that I came up with in the end. I made a, you know, black heart color background version red heart color background version, um, 3D black heart, and then 3D red heart. And then I also, on the bottom row, those four are the same as the ones above them, except with a, um, like a grain or a noise texture added to them. Because the original logo also felt very like airbrushed or spray painted. And it's kind of difficult to get that effect in Illustrator, or at least I didn't come up with the way that was satisfactory to me, aside from using the grain. So I have those as options as well. Uh, but these are my eight logos. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for all of the art vlogs that are going to be coming real soon. This has been Boy Donovan, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!